Well, here we are back at Bob's wood chunker and uh, I thought I'd videotape the blade going through here for you guys so you can I'll move it real slow so you can see how it swipes on through yeah, gotta get it coming around here I let it pass I had to do a little filing on that blade it had a serious curl on part of it and that's why it was chunking so hard there okay there you can see the blade coming in right there and as you can see at the very top it is cutting like a knife down at the bottom it's doing more of a chopping motion but when it hits the bottom anvil right there it starts cutting like a knife and goes across and right there that is probably the most forced contact and then it goes on through and the last hook there now I'm going to bring it on around again and take a look at it at a different angle so you can see what it's doing move up here see if I can get it at the correct angle so you can see it okay there is the blade coming through now you'll notice there's there's about a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch gap there. I still haven't pushed it all the way over. I'm still working on it. But it is adjustable. And the blade comes right on down. And goes right on by the anvil. Now right right here this is a beveled cutting surface very hard blade it was actually the chopping blade that was in the baler and so this plate here it can actually go down if there's enough force it's spring loaded so it engages this and then this blade does the cutting when pressure's against this plate, it also cuts both directions like a pair of scissors. So you can see the blade went on by, and it seems to be with the first when I first started up and was cutting it up above, it was cutting really nice, and then it just got harder and harder. Well, that rolled over edges in a couple spots there were making it really tough. To uh, go through the wood nothing like a rounded edge to try to cut something with I'm gonna back the blade up here so you can see what it does here you can see the top is already clearing up there and there's the hook as it slices now it goes by the anvil about an inch so the wood definitely gets sheared off and there it is at the very bottom you can see the very bottom down there and there now that's the complete cut I'm gonna back it up and you can see how the blade moves in and slices at the same time down here in the corner there is the first contact point 